Okay, let's talk about how to divide fractions, but specifically, we're going to be talking about how to divide mixed number fractions. So, uh, if you don't know what a mixed number is, this is what they look like, okay? And this is in contrast to other type of fractions. I'm going to get into specifically the different type of fractions and what they're called here in a second. But the whole idea behind uh, this video is to get you to be able to divide mixed number fractions. And of course, this is only part of what you need to know about dividing uh, fractions and uh, in fractions in general because you know fractions everyone you know everyone loves fractions you know people just love when they're bored you know typically a lot of people you know they'll turn a the TV on or you know do something entertaining a lot of people just mess around and do fraction problems you got to know how to add subtract multiply and divide now of course a lot of you out there are saying okay mr. YouTube math man Please uh, quit with the comedy. Just stick with the math. Well, listen, I got to try to lighten things up because the reality is most people do not like fractions. And they see fractions, their expressions are like this. They're either very sad or they're, you know, maybe they could be a little mad. They're like fractions. You know, don't give me those fractions. Just give me nice little numbers to work with. But we got to know how to deal with fractions, okay? Fractions are numbers too, and they deserve to be, uh, you know, mastered, okay? We really gotta figure them out. Not that difficult. Now, if you think you can do this problem, go ahead and pause the video, tell me your answer in the comment section, but I'm gonna get into specifically how to uh, solve this particular, or do this division of these mixed numbers. We're gonna only focus on this one problem, but I'm gonna kinda build it up so you can walk away knowing exactly what to do when we're talking about the division of mixed number fractions. Okay, so I'm gonna get into this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I'm uh, going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video, but basically I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you pass your course. You can not only pass, but get grades like this. Um, also, if you're taking any test that has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, HiSET, TASC, uh, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, uh, GMAT, ASVAB, uh, you know, teacher certification exam like the Praxis or nursing school entrance exam like the TAS, there's so many exams out there that people have to take for multiple reasons. And guess what they always have? This little pesky math section on there, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. Now, if you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum, something you might want to check out. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic. You can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades, and there's one thing I can point to uh, with consistency, that those students who take excellent math notes, okay, uh, always end up doing very, very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who don't take notes generally look like that at the end of the school year because they get grades like this. Okay, so don't let that be you. Take excellent math notes. You'll thank me later. Okay, so we're talking about mixed number fractions. Let's get into it. This is not going to be that long of a video, but I want you to walk away with, um, you know, some basic vocabulary as well. So let's talk about the type or types of fractions. Okay, now here, I have three uh, examples of fractions. So uh, each one of these kind of goes by its own little name. So I have one here, okay, I have another one here, and I have another one here. So if you think you know the name uh, to these fractions, go ahead and put that into the comment section as well. Okay, this has a particular kind of name or description, uh, this one and this one, okay? So let's get into it now. This uh, first one, we would call this, or we uh, refer to this as a proper fraction. Now, each fraction, okay, when we look at a fraction, there is a numerator, which is that top number, and a denominator, okay? So if the denominator, in this case, is bigger than the numerator, we call that a proper fraction. All right, so what do you think we're going to call this one? So pretty easy, right? We would call this an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the, uh, the denominator, so 5 thirds. Now, the thing about improper fractions, we can convert these guys into mixed numbers. That's a whole separate video. By the way, if you really want to learn fractions from me, I have tons of videos on fractions um, in my YouTube channel, and I teach this completely in my pre-algebra course as well. All right, so here we have an improper fraction, proper fraction, and of course that leaves us uh, to our uh, mixed number. Okay, so this is our mixed number 
uh, fraction. Now, the interesting thing about uh, improper fraction and mixed number fractions is that we can, cut, we can take an imp, a mixed number fraction and write it as an improper fraction and vice versa. Okay, So let's just take this uh, 2 and 1 half real quick and write this mixed number as an improper fraction. So let me just do this actually this way, make it a little bit neater. So there's 2 and 1 half. So how can I rewrite this fraction? This is something that you should know, and if you don't know, you were probably taught this, you just forgot it, okay? Well, what we need to do is take that 2 and multiply by that 2, right? So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So whatever the result of multiplying this way, then you're going to add this number. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So you put that little 5 right here, and then we put that over this little number. That'll be our denominator, okay? So you need to know how to go from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now, to take uh, five, and, uh, 5 halves and go this way, I would just take 2 and divide it into 5, and you would get 2 with the remainder of 1 half. Okay? So again, a lot of things that we kind of need to, uh, you know, uh, other videos I can make on this, but hopefully you're pretty familiar with uh, how to go from an improper to a mixed number or mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay, so now let's move on to just basic division. How do we divide uh, fractions in general? So if I have uh, uh, three-fifths divided by one-half, remember, I'm going to give myself a little room here because I want us to focus on this for a second. The idea when we divide fractions, and we're not really going to divide, we're going to multiply. Okay, so we're going to take this three-fifths, and we're going to go from division to multiplication, but in order to do that, I have to take this fraction and flip it upside down. Okay, so this is how we divide fractions. So we're going to take this division operator, we're going to turn it into multiplication, and take this fraction and flip it. And when I flip this 1 half, I get 2 over 1. Okay, now what do I do? Well, uh, multiplying fractions is super easy. All I need to do is multiply the respective numerators. So this would be 3 times 2. That's going to be my numerator, and then 5 times 1 is my denominator, so I get 6 fifths, okay? So that is that. All right, so just a quick review on how to uh, divide improper or proper fractions. Okay, but now we know what, uh, you know, how to go from a mixed number to an improper fraction and all these, this terminology. Now we can go ahead and tackle uh, our problem, okay? So how do we divide Mixed number fractions, well, what we need to do is take our mixed numbers and turn them into improper fractions. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here. So 3 and 1 fourths, again, we're going to go 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So this mixed number, 3 and 1 fourths, is equal to the fraction 13 fourths as an improper fraction. So we're going to do the same with this fraction. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13, so it's going to be 13 over 5. So that's the first step you do is you get out of your uh, mixed number fractions and you write this as uh, two improper fractions. Of course, now we're dividing. So this is, brings us back to what I just talked about, how to divide fractions. Okay, how do we divide fractions? Well, we're going to turn this into a multiplication problem. It's always the fraction to the right. So we're going to take this 13 over 5 and we're going to flip it upside down, meaning the 5 goes up top and the 13 goes down. Uh, to the denominator. So now I have 13 over 4 times 5 over 13. Okay, we call it, there's a fancy word for that. It's called the reciprocal. We just flip it upside down. And now when I multiply across, okay, this is going to be 13 times 5 over 4 times 13. But a lot of you out there are saying, hey, can I just cross cancel these 13s? Yes, you can. So we're just left with the answer 5 over 4. You would get that same answer if I went, okay, 13 times 5 over uh, 4 times 13. Remember, uh, when you have common factors, or in other words, things separated by multiplication, you can uh, cross-cancel common factors, like factors, right? And you're left with this as our answer. That's 5 over 4. Okay, so if you got this, uh, if you got this right all on your own, you're like, oh, I knew how to do this problem. I just wanted to just check on myself. Then let me go ahead and give you a nice happy face, a little check mark, an A+, plus, and I'll give you a few stars just to make your day extra special. Nice job, okay? We have to learn how to deal with fractions. There's so much to know about fractions, and there's um, some pretty cool techniques and little 
uh, you know, I call them hacks or tricks, uh, especially when you're adding and subtracting fractions. But fractions is a big part of not only basic math, like arithmetic, a big part of algebra as well. So no need to look like this. Let's go ahead and uh, end this on a positive note. Okay. And if you learn something, you're going to be like, wow, I was so amazed. I didn't know fractions were that easy. Well, you know, now you know. All right. So if this little video helped you out, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So I have a ton of content on my channel. If you like my teaching style, and I'm going to be uh, posting a ton more in the future, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.